This is Pegasus Launch Control, T minus 57 minutes, 45 seconds and counting, less than one minute away from the departure of the L 10 11. And launch team, we're now complete our pre-takeoff checklist, currently in our climb cruise checklist. Yes, 846, box 8846. Cape Metro, Patrick Tower, VHF, radio check. Patrick Tower, this is Cape Metro. I read you loud and clear. How me? Loud and clear. And launch team LC on countdown with the status uh, currently in our climb cruise uh, checklist. Uh, L1011 is climbing out to waypoint. P climb, uh, estimated time to uh, waypoint to P climb is approximately 10 minutes at around 12.51 Zulu. And uh, Cape Control, November 140, Sarah Charlie, do you need position reports? 140, Sarah Charlie, you must be with me in mind. Uh, that would be nice if you just call each point. And uh, 846 LC on uh, uniform, be advised. The engineering team has completed their visual. Appreciate the uh, close up there. 846. We are now 22 minutes, 20 seconds away from the deployment of the Pegasus rocket from the L-1011. Aircraft has flown over its launch position and will now make a wide turn out over the ocean toward the west, heading back east. LC, payload LPO, go ahead. We're, uh, you're, gonna, you're now go for step 126 Alpha, enable soft right heaters. Uh, LC payload LPO, soft ride heaters on. Arc, 11.4 volts, 2.0 amps. Copy all payload LPO. PINS on my mark, 3, 2, 1, mark. And I copy PINS. We'll go ahead and check step 141 complete. LC payload LPO 141 Bravo is complete. Sickness battery charging disabled. Copy payload LPO check 141 Bravo. LC FSL seems confirmed. Run internal power. And FSL I copy check 141 Charlie. This is LPO, we're ready for cooling on and to remain on through drop. LC, LPO, cooling is on. And PLT, here you go to power off anti-collision lights. PL, LC, PLT, in work. This is Pegasus Launch Control, T minus 13 minutes and counting. 
the release mechanism for the Pegasus has been armed and Cygnus is on internal power. SMD on your net. Uh, Cygnus is go for power off for DMAU power off. Copy that SMD. We'll check 152 Bravo. Uh, 152 Alpha. Payload LPO, your go for 152 Bravo. Turn off Cygnus DMAU power. LP, payload LPO. LPO, DMAU power off. Copy that at payload LPO. Check 152 Bravo. LC, PLT, L minus two, three, two, one, mark. Copy L minus two. Two minutes, two minutes to launch. LPO, step 177, switch CSC to LPO tab. LC, LPO, CSC at LPO tab. Roger that. And PLT, you go to acquire launch heading at 118.7 mag. Uh, LC, L PLT, and work. Rudder now. L then sweep now. I'll see this is Senior Mifco. Countdown to L1011 in the box. Did you copy L1011 in the box? Copy in the box. Copy that. L1011 is in the drop box. T minus 12, T minus 10. Peg is go for lunch. T minus five, four, three, two, one. LT, stand by, stand by as you guys are reacquire heading. LC, PLT, copy. LC, peg, peg is go for launch. PLT, LC is go for launch. PLT, confirm. LC, PLT, PLT confirms go for launch. Drop on my mark. Three, two, two one. one. Go for release. Pegasus is away. And drop. Pegasus is away. LCPLT. The ignition of the Pegasus rocket with Cygnus, helping hurricane forecasters understand and predict the intensity of hurricanes. Fin actuator system is working properly to control the flight of the vehicle during stage one. Power buses remain nominal, approximately 30 minutes, 30 seconds. This is flight. RCO. First motion ignition, first motion time of 1337, colon. Vehicle is now past decimal, max Q. Eight, six, six. Attitude remains That's nominal. 13, approximately 30 colon, seconds. Two, one, decimal, eight, one six, six. Attitude remains nominal. Power buses remain strong. All the data coming back. Approximately 10 seconds until stage one burnout. All data coming back looks good. Getting ready for the first stage to burn out right on time. Stage one is burned out. Attitude remains nominal. Coming up on first and second stage separation. Approximately 10 seconds until stage one separation and stage two ignition. Stage two separate, stage one separation. Stage two ignition. Stage two TVC is operating nominally and controlling the flight of the vehicle. Fairing separation is confirmed. Attitude remains nominal after successful fairing separation. Stage three TVC is initiated. Stage two separation. Cygnus Observatories A and C have been successfully deployed. Approximately 20 seconds until Observatories E and G. Cygnus Observatories E and G have been successfully deployed. Approximately 20 seconds until Observatories F and H. Altitude 300 miles. Observatories F and H have been successfully deployed. 
approximately 20 seconds until the last deployment event to deploy observatories Bravo and Delta. Spacecraft velocity now 16,124 miles an hour, 319 miles in altitude. Observatories B and D have been successfully deployed. Coming up on Pegasus transmitters off. Pegasus transmitters are now off. This ends the successful mission to place the Cygnus observatories in orbit. Congratulations, Cygnus. Good hunting. One four zero Sierra Charlie, uh, weather at the Cape, broken 1300. Sierra Charlie. Well, Sierra Charlie, just fly on as an RNAV approach. Sierra Charlie, that's approved. Uh, we're going to the tower. Sierra Charlie, you're now 13 miles from here. Sierra Charlie. And PLT, uh, we have visual of your wheels down. And uh, LPOLC Victor 2. And PLT, we have visual of your wheels down. 846. And uh, PLT, LC on 270. Eight four six two one thousand feet. LT LPO. LPO uh, LC. Wheel stop.
get to see where the wheel's down. And uh, LPO, LC, Victor 1? LC, LPO. I'm sorry, Victor 2. Hey, uh, LPO, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, release stations here in the LVDC. Uh, is there anything you guys uh, require from us? Uh, I don't believe we do, and uh, great job. We'll go ahead and uh, jump off the comp. Roger that. This is Pegasus Launch Control. We will now conclude our coverage of the flight of the L-1011 with Pegasus and Cygnus.